everyone, it's Ben. I wanted to make a different style of video today. I found a new shooting bag called the Sandcastle that I think not many people know about. It's gonna help them do a lot better at their matches. Let's take a look. Full disclosure real quick, I am not being compensated in any way for this video. Uh, the guy that makes these bags did give me the shooting bag, but he just wanted feedback on how it performed in actual matches and to see if I had any ideas on how to make it better. But I'm making the video today because this is a shooting bag that I think will help a lot of people. So a brief history of how this bag came to be. A guy I shoot some matches with, his name is Dave. In his everyday life, he designs custom import car parts. I was looking at all the bags everyone's using at these matches and decided I could design something that's better than that. And he came to me and asked me if I would be willing to test it out, provide some feedback so he could make it in an even better bag. And by the end of it, I think he found something that's really special. And so because I provided some of the ideas that he incorporated into the final design, he let me name it. And I picked Sandcastle because it's full of sand and it molds that sand into some nice stable walls that I think makes shooting even better and easier than it otherwise is. And so let's take a look. I think this bag has a lot of advantages to it. The biggest one being the additional stability, which is why we use shooting bags in the first place. When you put this on a prop and you slide the rifle down the middle of the sand castle, the walls of sand kind of close in on the sides of the rifle and it provides an additional level of stability that help you get a difficult wind call shot or help you keep you on target on a small target down range. Um, I love that. I feel like I get more points because I use this bag. The quality is also something else I've noticed. I wouldn't know that this wasn't made by one of the ma major national brands. And finally, the one thing I did notice different from the national brands is the price. This one is significantly cheaper than what you're seeing from some of those bigger brands that are out there. So additional stability with the same level of quality at a competitive cost, I think that's a winning combination. <music> While this bag is great and has a number of advantages to it, there are limitations to it, just like there are limitations to every piece of gear. Understanding and kind of navigating those limitations, I think is how you maximize your performance at any match. And this one, there is no special material, like sticky material or kind of rubber grip material that some other bags use on the bottom. It's just the same material that's used through the rest of the bag. And so for example, when I put it on the leg of a tank trap, that highly slanted, like it does slide. And so I wouldn't choose to use this bag in that situation. Uh, the only other prop that I've ever really run into trouble with it on is the cattle gate. And it's not that it's a bad one. I just feel more stable off of other bags. And so I switch over to those. But all the other NRL 22 props and a lot of the PRS 22 props I've tried it on, this bag works perfectly and I'm really satisfied with it. And I think a lot of people will appreciate the extra additional stability you get by using this. With all that being said, I do want to make it clear, I don't think this bag is magic. And if you have a bad shot that it's going to magically make it hit, I think this bag just provides an additional layer of stability so that you're going to get the shot you want it to take. Whether or not you have all the other fundamentals like wind call, the elevation dialed in, trigger pull uh, down, that's on you. I think this bag just it takes one worry away and helps you get that additional hit when you're going. Overall, I highly recommend this bag and I don't think there's a better bag out there for the price. So I hope you found this video informative, at least gives you another idea of what's out there when you're looking at which bags to choose. If you wanna look into it yourself or possibly order, I'll have the information in the description. And if you get into ordering it, Dave told me if you use my name, Ben, he'll t knock an additional 10% off your order because it might help in the development of this bag. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if I don't catch you out at the range, hope to see you in the next video. Take care.